Welcome everyone to Talking Time with Caffeine, the only podcast where our guests and our topics, we have no idea what they are until we do it most of the time. Yay! With Snick and, and Mario Tube today, and I, for topic, my topic for tonight, talking about the clowns. It's on the news everywhere. Clowns! Did you, did you know, Chucky's a, afraid of clowns. Apparently, a 12 year old got 15 years in prison for leaving a clown message on the, on Facebook. Oh no. What is it with this shit. stupid clown phenomenon? Where did this come from? Probably, probably the new It movie coming out. The reboot of It. The reboot What's of it? it? Or is it because of Batman the Killing Joke? Yeah, maybe both. Wow. It's kind of a shame because I hear they kind of bastardized that ver- the killing joke by adding it an unnecessary subplot at the start of it. I swear to God, ever since that one incident with that cl- scary clown doing something ridiculous, ever, like, I swear to God, whenever someone mentions clown, whether it's like about the incident, referencing the incident, or if they're talking about like an entertaining clown, then everyone just like goes ape shit, no matter what. And it's because like, of these dude, things. calm the fuck down. <laughs> this isn't like an SJW fucking thing, okay? Like, chill. <laughs> Apparently- Maybe it's the uprising of the Jokers from Batman Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they saw a clown near a middle school somewhere, and they, and they like, it was, like shut down. They shut down the school, locked down. Wait, what kind of clown? Just stay in the corner, across from the across, stay, in the, stay in the corner across from the middle school or elementary school, and they shut it down. They wow. locked, it, locked it down. Locked down. Oh my god! I just realized. Oh god! Imagine Halloween this year. Oh, fucking hell. If someone sees a goddamn clown, I bet you they're going to be on the news. I No, yeah, I, I, I guarantee you they're going to be on the fucking news. According to my mommy and daddy, I was a clown for Halloween one year when I was a little baby. You weren't arrested? Yeah. You weren't arrested? So, imagine there's babies dressed up in clown outfits and everyone goes ape shit over it. Inter- interrogate them. What's a baby going to do? <laughs> Well, yeah, they're probably just gonna grab a dirty fork and just go, Oh, fuck you, clown! Well, babies are apparently terrorists because I, I read an article oh. earlier this year where some Egyptians arrested, a, arrested a three year old for terrorist activities that happened when he was 18 months old. 18 months earlier, he, apparently he did some what terrorist activities. What kind activity. of terrorist activities? All the terrorist That's activities. Like, he, was, he got arrested by Egyptian, the Egyptian uh, government because of it. And he was three for something he did 18 months earlier. Apparently. Okay. So All apparently right. babies can be terrorists now. I, I, I know a, there's several. In, what? I've heard another incident where one of them was on the fly list. A baby. Wow. Because his, his name the same as someone else, I guess. So if a baby it looks like a clown, then they're going to be considered a terrorist for the rest of their lives. That's, <laughs> that's the world we live in nowadays. What the fuck? I know that. I know that um, little elementary school children were suspended and or expelled for quote-unquote terroristic threats. I've told some of these stories in some of the videos I've done. One such story happened around the time the Hobbit movies were coming out. Really? Um, Basically what happened was this one kid who had just come back from seeing The Hobbit one day at school during recess, um, he was playing pretend, pretending he had the One Ring. Now, the thing with the One Ring in The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit movies is that, well, 
there's a lot more to it, but basically anyone who puts it on turns invisible to anyone who's not wearing it. So, he's claimed to one of his friends, I'm going to put this ring on you and you're going to disappear. The teacher sent him to the principal's office. He was suspended for terroristic threats towards a child. The same thing happened to this other, just not different, but this teenager. I want to talk about or this, apparently this teenager took, took pictures of, of himself, sent to sent to his girlfriend. The police found out, and that teenager was arrested for child pornography of him of himself. Oh wait, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! And then the stupidity continues. So, oh, new well, I'm sorry. The stupidity continues. Oh. Yeah, the stupidity continues. So, I don't know how much more stupid this can get. So, no, no, no. This one is good. It's a not. It's not good. It's amazing. Amazing. It's oh, amazing. Boy. Oh god. So, you could argue that a fictional ring that doesn't even exist turning some kid invisible could arguably be a bad thing. But um apparently cuz cuz apparently now imagination is outlawed in schools. According to a stu according to a middle school movie that was released last Friday, yes it is. <laughs> no, we can't have fun in school. Why are you smiling, little boy? No, ima uh, no, imagina so no imagination. Go, go by the Check book. Your I've, Check been your I've been arrested in kindergarten. Then I was like all playing. I was playing out, pretending, pretending something. I was pretending things out there, going to other dimensions. The slides were teleportation devices. Everything. I would have been arrested a long time ago. For that. <laughs> I was a robber as a little kid playing cops and robbers. Let's just say I got arrested, and not by the cop. By a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, here's the amazing one. So this happens not long after Newtown. So this girl was cutting a sheet of paper. Like, so it's like a piece of printing paper or something. So mm -hmm. she cuts... So imagine you cut that piece of paper, like you drew lines across it to where it's basically four equal parts. She cuts one part off. So the shape is basically two rectangles. It like kind of forms like a big triangle. Like it kind of looks like this, how I'm <laughs> shaped right here. Yeah. Like it kind of looks like this. Like she cut one part off. She ended up messing up whatever she was doing with the sheet, so she threw it away. A boy went over the trash can and he's like, "Wow, that paper looks like a gun. Who who threw this paper out? Oh, she did it." Teacher, she threw a paper that looked like a like a gun. The kid got suspended and charged for terrorist threats. Face <laughs> I'm not making that story up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's I swear to God. Well, I have no idea what the news article is called. Let me go look it up. I need to make sure. There we go. That much better. Man, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know what? This isn't strong enough. Yup, here's the story. Paper gun at school prompts suspension of Philadelphia girl. How old, how, how, old, how, old, how old was she? You know what, no. Not even this can be strong enough. You, use the fan. No, this together can be strong enough. No. The only way we can make it stronger is three at once. Oh, and it gets better. It gets oh. better. When this stupid kid finding this sheet of paper that they... That even if it's only kind of looked like a gun, the girl got searched for right in front of the class. You know what? No, she must have had enough. paper bullets on her. Three is not enough. Three is not enough. <laughs> Three is not enough. <laughs> I'm four. 
Yep, we're going four at once. Because 2016 is actually, apparently sometimes even back then, things are so retarded that we need four pillows at once to destroy the base of Mario Tube 101. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess the stupidity was so strong I destroyed it. Well, I guess that's that. It's so stupid that it freaking got destroyed. What about you, Mario? Any stupid things like kids and, and clowns and, and your area? I mean, the only I mean, story I can tell is kind of... says that she wasn't charged, but the teacher threatened her with charges. There is one story that I yeah do w would share, but um, I feel it'd be inappropriate, and it's more personal. Okay. So, um, what else can I think of? You can always oh, change, change, story change, story change the name actually, and change the actions. Like they no, 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 no. I got, I got more, more pro. What? I got one more appropriate. Okay. So, basically, um, to sum up. My friend What's Up 279 told me the story, by the way, and I was not during, like, I was not anywhere in the scene during this, so I didn't actually witness it, but, you know, still true story. So, so is he, where, is, where is he tonight? Sick. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Like, really sick. Anyways, um, so basically, my friend What's Up 279 was in a class with some other people, and there's this uh, one kid that's pretty much an asshole really and he's also kind of retarded and one day um i think everyone else in the class left except that one asshole and apparently he took a shit in a corner of the classroom and i guess hit it or something so then when everyone else came back, well, uh, let's just say shit hit the fan, figuratively at least. And, um, yeah, everyone's pretty pissed off. I don't know what happened to him, but I'm pretty sure he at least got, like, a suspension. Or at least some kind of punishment that would be suitable, you know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got right now at the moment. Kind of, I guess that's the thing. That, 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 that's, really, that's, but really, that's normal pranks, I guess. It's, no, it's not a prank. He actually took a shit. Huh. Like, real. Why did he do it? Why didn't he just run to the bathroom? Because he's fucking retarded. What did you expect? I oh, did, legitimately? I thought, you mean I, legitimately, or are you just saying that? I thought he did it on. I think he did it on purpose, just to. No, legitimately. I'm told, not fucking kidding. No, you. like, like we're talking a, a school setting in a classroom. A class is going, but everyone else except him leaves the classroom. He takes a shit in the corner of the class on purpose. Not because it was an emergency, because he wanted to do it or something like that. And then when everyone came, else came back, um, well, they automatically discovered it by the scent, at least. So, hey, but at least he, at least he didn't throw away a paper gun or put a ring on some kid's finger. I mean. A non-existent ring. Oh, but he's still a fucking asshole. I mean, who takes a shit in the corner of a goddamn classroom? Like, honestly. Oh, Vandalia. I know you've made videos on bull on bullying before. Did you know that apparently it is now against the law to um provide proof of your bullying? I'm sorry. Where? What? To provide there was proof. one incident where this kid with mild special needs or something was constantly being made fun of by his classmates. So his parents told him, bring your iPad to school, 
record the abuse, and we're going to present it to the principal so that way they'll finally take action. Because the teacher knew about the abuse but did nothing. Okay. So, as usual, it's probably because the bullies were all the cool, popular kids, yo. So the teacher's got to identify with them. What's up, dude? Do good on your test? You know what? I'm going to mark your grave an F to an A because you're a cool dude. Well, I doubt that happens, but I so, hope it doesn't So the kid that got bullied got suspended. Yes, he did. Well, wait. What happened afterwards? I don't get it. What You didn't even no, finish the story. Well, first of all, here's why he got suspended. So he brought his iPad. He clicked the record button. And he had a nice, good quality audio recording of the bullies calling him insults and whatnot. He and his parents went to the principal's office and presented the audio recording. And the principal suspended him because he was quote-unquote wiretapping and violating those bullies' privacy. <laughs> I'm really pissing Vandalia off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All these stupid sto but these stupid stories are true and they need to stop. If if we can. Damn it. Stupid flash. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, see your reactions to these two stories. Is, it's probably the best guys, podcast I've been a part of in some time. Hold on. Hold on. See kids? This is called a pocket knife. This is also a pocket knife. What are you going to do with the pocket knife? Well, wait, that's not all. Because as we see, we also have a Swiss Army knife. Fuck! Means... We get a big knife, and if I can find it, we also can maybe find a littler knife, which I don't know where the hell it is. Hold on, I actually need some time to figure this out. Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh my god, is out of it now. Like, I'm telling you, this is the best hey, hey, podcast hey, I've hey, been hey, on hey, since the one where oh, my dog was attacking found me. Found it, found it, found it, found it. So, now we get double the knives. The dark all so blade. So, how many... Jesus Christ. How many blades do we got? We got one, two, at least four, three, four. So this means we can use three of them for suicide and this one for emo cutting. Perfect! <laughs> because I need to end my life to get out of this realm of the stupid evil 2016. Most of these stories I told you did not happen this year. The paper gun shit happened in 2013. I don't care. It's still retarded, okay? Shut up. Uh, Retard retardity knows no year. And no. Um, let me see if there's other stories of bullying victims getting. Bullying victim suspended. Oh my god, you're actually just looking them up on Google. Or yeah, things. because there's so many of this fucking thing. Oh my god. Okay, so, yes, there is another incident. Here, well, this is a common occurrence. Probably for the same reasons. Uh, oftentimes, victims of bullying may get physically abused. And, of course, the bullies get no punishment because, you know, they super cool dudes. They can't go to jail. They're too cool for school and too cool for jail. But when the victim decides to fight back one time, he's treated like the perpetrator of 9-11. Suspension, sometimes expulsion. Hell, that happened to me once in seventh grade. I had to deal with a lot of verbal insults and shit and get my work stolen and other crap like that. The one time I stood up for myself and said, leave me alone, I'm going to guidance. 
just because when I move, pulled out of the desk to get out of my seat and I bumped into a kid who was right behind me, the teacher tells me to go to ISS. Suspension. You see this? This is called lens cleaners. Instead of cleansing my glasses, I'm going to cleanse my fucking eyes. Sort of fucking god, though, for oh real. What the fuck? I, Seriously, I though, think Bandit is losing faith. <laughs> I lost faith. I thought. I thought, um, I thought faith was lost a long time ago, like, in seriously. In 10th grade, uh, people were throwing water, flicks of water at me during a science experiment, like, flick, like throwing water at me, touching, and then I get up, I grab the cup from them, and I, and I get in trouble. Oh. Oh, There's wait! There is a little bit of hope in this particular story. I don't know if Van Deel is going to accept it, but we'll see. Um, so... The, as it turns out, the two perpetrator bullies, they didn't get away with it either. They were suspended alongside the victim. At least some justice. Yeah. Oh, God. So, I mean, obviously it's still wrong they suspended the victim too, but... Yeah. It, but for touching someone's bubble... No, this particular incident was he was in the showers in the gym, and when he was busy urinating, somebody spit in his face and tried to expose himself, and when he hit them back trying to get away, the whole thing. Wow. <sighs> Hell, one bullying incident I had in eighth grade was, so we had to take a standardized test, and I really had to do number two. So I go in the stall, I do my business, my one fatal flaw is number one, a couple of kid Xbox fanboys, because yeah, that was the theme of 8th grade, most of the kids who went after me were Xbox fanboys who didn't like the fact I had a PS3. Um, they were all hanging out in the bath, they all decided to come into the bathroom and hang out before the test, for some reason. So I'm in the stall, and they're like... Oh, wait a minute, someone's in the store. Who is that? And here's about the second flaw. Even today, I'll admit, I tend to wear not many pairs of shoes. Back then, I would only wear one or two. So they were able to easily... So they look under, and I'm like, Oh, hey, it's... Oh, hey, it's Schnick. Well, they call me by my real name, <coughs> but... Um, because they recognized me by the shoes I was wearing. Hey, Schnick, you taking a shit? Zach, are you taking a shit? They start kicking the, at the stall door. Oh my god. And I think it was just a joke. I don't think they were actually intending to kick the door down, but... <laughs> and you got in trouble for it? No. I told, I told about the incident, but... It was just added to the long list of things they'd done, but... I'll tell you, they at least got talking to some of the teachers. Not that it did anything. Talking to, yeah, that's what they did to my thing. Like, they're like, no, don't do that again. Oh my god. I just remembered some, well, I remember two things. What, okay, the first thing was basically pretty recently, believe it or not, I went in one of my bathrooms and I preferably actually go to like one specific bathroom because. The sinks that my school has, they're fucking horrible. They're automatic sinks, which I don't have a problem with. But the thing about these sinks is either they don't warm up, they shoot out too fast and too powerful, making water just go everywhere when it's contact with hands, or both. And there's one sink in particular that doesn't do both of those things and actually heats up and, you know dispenses water at a reasonable, you know, uh, power, I, I don't fucking know what the word is, but you get what I'm saying. And I went in this bathroom, and I noticed that there was something odd with one of the stalls, and this particular stall was a handicap stall, you know, the big stalls. And I went up to it to further inspect it, and I tried going on the other side since it was empty, and... 
I tried closing the door, but it wouldn't shut. And I thought, wait a minute. I looked at all the other stalls. They didn't look like the ones that I was looking at. And because it didn't close all the way, you couldn't lock it anymore. Literally, if you couldn't shut the damn door all the way, then you could not lock it was impossible. And I'm just thinking to myself, who the fuck would do such a thing? Especially on a handicap stall. Like, what the fuck? I, I honestly could not believe it. I even pulled out my phone and recorded that. I recorded me trying to close the door, and I was just such in shock that they fucking did this. And... I was currently waiting a while to see if some staff member would eventually notice and actually fix it, but last time I checked, they never did. So if at the end of my fall break, which is next week, it's still not fixed, I'm going to complain. Because, well, first off, how does a staff member not notice that? And if they do, why aren't they, like, doing anything about it? Why aren't they telling other staff members, you know? Like, what the fuck? So, I don't... I actually don't know who could have done that. Because, here's the thing. If a student were to do that, they wouldn't exactly have a lot of time to actually pull that off. Because... They would have to pick a specific time to be able to actually complete this process. So the only three times that they could have been able to do this was before school, during lunch, and after school. The downsides for lunch... Too much traffic. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. The downside of lunch is that unlike before and after school, you only have 30 minutes to actually do that. So, you would have to complete it in 30 minutes if they chose lunch, which I kind of doubt they would do that. And with people coming in and out of the bathrooms, too. And before, if they did it before school, then that's still pretty risky, and they still have a time limit nonetheless. But if they did it after school... If they waited long enough, they would have actually probably been able to pull it off. The thing is that they just have to hope for the best that no other staff member or concerning student actually goes in there at that time. Because otherwise, they're kind of screwed over. But somehow, some way, they pulled it off. I don't know how, but they did. The second story is um, one I forgot, but I'll tell another story on top of that, because I forgot the other one completely. Um, so there was a substitute I had kind of recently, like maybe a couple weeks ago, I'd say. I don't remember, but I have a substitute named Miss C. She did not say her actual last name. She just referred to herself as Miss C the entire time. And no one asked her that... No one asked her what her name was, so I'll just refer to her as Miss Cunt because it's very appropriate. So Miss Cunt was a very rude substitute. She would basically do stupid things like she asked me to take my hat off because in my school you're allowed to wear hats unless like Teachers uh, forbid it otherwise, but for the most part, you're allowed to wear hats. Well, we, we weren't. And, and I was asked to uh, take it off. And this isn't the first time I was asked to take it off in a class. In fact, I'm, I would regularly be asked that if I forgot to wear it in my last hour class. I never understood why my uh, earth science teacher asks people to take it off. But she does. She. I don't think she gave a reason. Um, but the reason that the substitute gave me was so fucking retarded. See, the reason was because it's immorally wrong to wear a hat indoors. 
am morally wrong. Isn't that, yeah. a, isn't that a religious thing? I think it is a religious thing. And isn't but that, it's still fucking retarded. Isn't isn't that um like um not, not supposed to be an issue in schools? Private. My school had a problem with hats too. <coughs> Except I don't everyone know. did it. Yeah, yeah. No, we... the principal after Newtown happened. That principal who later got arrested for not reporting a sex scandal that a teacher imposed on a student. Um, the principal always made it a point in the announcements to, at the end of the announcements, being that, always remember, no hats, no cell phones, no opening the doors. Have a good day. Yeah, we no have opening doors? Wait, what? What does that mean? I told you about that shitty locked door policy they did after Oh, Newtown. that. Oh, I thought you meant, like, all doors, regardless what kind of door it is. Yeah, we had no hats in our, our classes, too, but I, but I thought that because everyone had uh, everything else did that. No hats and no gum and all that stuff. At, at the time, everyone did it. We, we, we didn't have no cell phone policy because we only have cell phones back then. We had no, beeper, we had no beepers at the end of my years. People were people were having beepers around. So yeah, um, she told me to take my hat off because it was immorally wrong. And then, um, after that, she wouldn't let the class talk. And in my second hour class, which is called Strategies for Success, which basically works on history, and then for the second half of the class, it's kind of like a study hall, I suppose. And, um, what the class normally does at the beginning of each, you know, class, at least in there specifically, is watch a thing called Student CNN News, or CNN Student News, whatever. And sometimes, well, actually right now, a lot of the time because of the presidential candidates, um, it brings up politics quite a bit, and there's a specific rule set that's followed uh, when talking about politics, and it's nothing out of the ordinary in terms of the rules themselves. It's pretty respectable, actually. But the substitute didn't even let us talk about the politics at all, even though that there's a rule set right above her fucking head, literally. In fact, one of the students even mentioned it multiple times, and she still wouldn't listen. And yet, she was okay to show politics on it. That's a little bit hypocritical, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, when she asked the students what they wrote about, because you're supposed to write three different things on you know, each topic, like... That was a bad way to explain it. Basically, you write one of the three topics, and then you write two of the three topics, and then the third topic, and then that's that. And if someone mentioned a topic that had to do with politics, then she would go haywire. And eventually, one of the students got fed up and cussed her out like... It was so bad that this one student in particular called her a fat fucking whore. And literally, in those words, a fat fucking whore. And instantly, he got sent to the office. Um, so, what else happened? Oh yeah, one other thing that I can mention that happened during that class period. Um, at one point... She decided to say, this isn't a democracy, this is a dictatorship. And I believe she referred to herself as a dictator on top of that. I've heard that before. So, and I was in shock. I have never heard a teacher say that in my entire life up until then. And... I mean, I already knew she was full of shit when she told me to take my hat off for that particular reason, but holy fuck, she was in a whole nother level of special snowflakeism. And that's when I realized 
this motherfucker is a special snowflake beyond belief. So, I took it upon myself to plan this one thing out since she would basically be there for that day only. I decided that I was going to yell at her on... Um, well, actually, first, I need to figure out what I yelled at her first. It's some... Tr I yelled, trigger me timbers, I spotted a special snowflake. That's what I would yell to her. And when I was going to yell that to her, after some hours, because I didn't really have any other chance to, this was like during the passing period before the final hour of the day. I figured out where she was. She was in a room called the ALC room, which is this... This is kind of like a study hall area, but, excuse me, but the thing is that you have to do work in there, and you can't really socialize too much. So, um, I spotted her in there, and I was gonna yell that at her, except the problem was I have five minutes during the passing period to I'll actually accomplish that. And I and once I do uh, yell that at her, I have to run all the way to uh, a different building since basically my school is set up where it's like there's an A building, a B, a C, and then so forth because it's more of an outdoor kind of thing. So if you want to oh get to class, oh my god, class, just like mine. Except you have your outdoor campus and mine doesn't. So yeah, basically you have to travel through buildings is to get the different classes. So, and between the B building and the E building, it was kind of lengthy, so I would have to run the, quite a bit. On top of that, also run upstairs and at the very end of the hallway. And I had to do that, specifically, because when I finally got the chance to, um, it was almost the ending of passing period, so I yelled out at her and booked it. And the reason why it took me so long to accomplish this task was because, I swear to fucking God, there were teachers left and right. Like, it was, like, almost impossible, as a matter of fact, because if one teacher left the area, I would look at a different direction, and all of a sudden I'd see another teacher. And the other problem with this is that um, there were some staff members that I actually work with. So if I looked suspicious, then I'd be in a sticky situation. So I have to, on top of that, figure out what I was going to do to make it so that I wasn't looking suspicious. But eventually, I got that chance, and I did yell it. And then I booked it, and I think I was a little bit late to the class, but eh, whatever. It was all worth it. I did get away with it. Because, I mean, she, the bitch deserved it, let's be honest. And little did I know that she would be there for only that day. And I couldn't do it after school. I don't remember why I couldn't. I think it was either because I had a club to go to or I had to do something after school in a class. And by the, and I was worried that by the time I got back there after I was done with the class thing, it would be too late. So I was kind of fine with being late if I needed to be late. And yeah. That's about it, really. Well, what a story. And there's more stories I have to tell, but I don't know how long this podcast has been. I've actually lost track of time. It's been at least 40, 40 minutes, give or take. 40 minutes, huh? Well, I don't know if you guys have any more stories or not. Not really. I think we... we have you don't have any stories to add to this whole bullshit? Well, I do have another story I can tell you, but it's pretty short. But Basically, I mean, I was talking to Vandalia, but oh, well. no, just all I all I had was the clown thing and the Egyptian thing, and then we just skyrocket into big controversial.
Yeah. Um, if I, if I if I can figure out how to share sound through Skype, then. But you can. I'm sure there's a way. Some some no. program to do that. I'm not what it is because the people of the Drunken Peasants podcast do it. So I don't, it's a way to do it. I just know how to do it. Cause they because they do it. But they, wait, hold on. Do they live stream it? Yeah. Well, I guarantee you they don't do it through Skype. I'm just saying that right now. Because they, they, I guess, their guest star is over Skype, and they, he, he can see and hear the screen. Uh, I don't know. That seems kind of far-fetched for Skype, if you ask me. They could be using another program in the background, too. Maybe. That's what it is. But they make 10000 a month on Patreon, so... Oh, fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, I, I figure... We, we, I guarantee... I think uh, they have that bullshit where it's like, oh, guys, if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure to, like, comment and subscribe. By the way, this podcast was, uh, pr was sponsored by, uh, some fucking company that no one cares about and then talks about the fucking company. They, they do have I guarantee you. They do have sponsors. Oh my god. <laughs> like, uh... I, I swear, I hate YouTube nowadays sometimes because, I swear to god, every fucking person I watch has a sponsor. I swear to fucking god. It's so goddamn annoying. Like, shut up about the sponsors. Isn't there another way to freaking get your cash without the sponsor alerts? Like, Not really. Jesus I don't think so. Yeah. Like, I don't come to YouTube because it's a business. I come to YouTube because it's supposed to be a free entertainment source. What the fuck am I uh, listening uh, to these uh, fucking sponsorship bullshit for? Yeah, well, it's not, well, it's not really... It's more money! It's not really selling more out money. unless you're selling, selling something that you don't, you don't like. Like, like if Snick was, was, was uh, sponsor Snickers or Reese Cups, and that'd, be, that'd be selling out to him because he don't like chocolate. I okay, don't, so no. what about popular YouTubers like Cat Icarus that has a sponsorship on their videos? Oh. Or what about other uh, YouTubers that a lot of other people hate? Um, let's see. Allie is a good example. What about guys like Allie or Cat Icarus? I have no idea who that is. Neither do I. Basically, a pod YouTuber that's kind of a degenerate, I guess. Who's the better question? Why is it that shitty channels like Funny Finger Family are allowed to have ads in their video when they're blatantly copywriting? <laughs> oh, don't remind me of that. <laughs> Well, well, I figured <laughs> next week, degenerate cancer. Well, I figured if next week we could, if I could share, <laughs> if I could do, do audio through Skype, we could, uh, we could all answer the, the, these videos I've been seeing around on YouTube. Answers for SJWs. If I we can answer them, our opinions. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Shut up, Schnick! Because apparently, <laughs> not helping with your. Because apparently, this one oh guy. Oh my went, fucking went god! The, this, this one guy asked, "Why do you have a problem with third wave feminism, but you don't have a problem with first and second wave feminism?" Here's okay. Here's what I say to that. Fuck any wave feminism. Well, there's gotta be feminism that gives them equal rights. That, that not just first... not feminism that makes them better. Oh, no, there is no, there is a feminism like that. It's called the 1800s, or whatever year they existed in back then. Yeah, that was, that was because the first, that was for a good cause. That was first. Now it's, it's for a fucking but, cause. Yeah, sure, they have the rights now, but just like how there's still a lot of racism, there is still a lot of sexism. Well, that's because of jerks, not because of the society. That's yeah, it is because of jerks, and they. These movements still exist to try and kind of get rid of the jerks, but thanks to people like Anita and groups like Black Lives Matter, now it's suddenly where whites are disgusting pigs, 
Men are disgusting pigs, and the only people who can do no wrong are the people that are part of these groups. And that's so good. basically, and they want to be quote quote so safe spaces now. Yeah, and so, now it's basically the reverse, where now there's racism against whites and sexism against men. So basically, the safest uh, person you can be is a black woman. That's the safest you can be. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Say. A, 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 a gay black woman. <laughs> Why gay? Well, because, because homo, because if you're straight and you're homophobic. <laughs> I would say homophobia is the least apparent of the three. Because you hear about it, and at least from my experience, it's not the people trying to support, um, LGBT. BT writes, they are less offensive as far as I can tell. Like, most of the people who wrong society have done wrong well, for society it's, it's, are it's, like... It's, it's not the, well, it's not the gay people who are doing that. It's the other people who, who are saying that you automatically are against them, even, though, if, even if you aren't. It's the, it's what, it, wait, is it straight people trying to talk for them? Yeah. Just like how there's a group called Autism Speaks that oh, um, no. claims they speak for autistic kids, but they make autistic kids look like they're helpless freaks. When that's not the... Look, look at Mario. He's a perfect testament to how Autism Speaks is not... I just like to say that for uh, saying sorry. that statement specifically, I only agree up to the point if the autistic person is unable to do certain, or not certain actions, specific, not specific, what the fuck? Now I'm making myself look like an asshole. <laughs> okay, but what I'm trying to say is that I do agree to it at an extent. I only agree with it if the autistic child or person cannot do simple tasks such as speaking at all, um... You know, going to the bathroom by themselves, or any other like see, any action that anyone can do, regardless. At least at my age. Otherwise, that bullshit. And that's the thing. They actually made a very infamous infomercial where they basically pretended the only autistic people that exist are those who fit the bill you just said. They pretend there's no high-functioning autistics, and they pretend there's no autistics that are adults. But that's the problem, though. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a person is autistic or not, especially if they're high-functioning. Because yeah, just I, I didn't know you had high functioning until you told me. And there's plenty of famous YouTubers I watch, like Mysterious Mr. Enter, that I didn't know until they announced it. Yeah, so... If anything, sometimes the only way someone will know if the person is autistic is if they tell you, just like I did. Yeah. Hell, sometimes people never get diagnoses. Like, for instance, I feel like I may fit the bill because I feel like I'm kind of antisocial. But then again, there's more to it, so I don't have any, any idea. I was diagnosed with ADHD in school. In a school or I mean, like professional area, well, professional. everyone insists I'm fine. Well, I didn't do homework. So they 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 said I had it. They sent me to a psychologist who I so I had it because I because I didn't do it my homework. I don't know if I actually had it or not. This is the '90s, so I don't know what. But yeah, I was also accused of cheating on, on, on cheating on tests because I didn't do any homework. Seventh grade didn't do any homework, but got A's on all my on my quizzes and tests. Hmm. Well, that was good. Well, I'm not good about the homework, but... I passed. Because I got the A's, but... They're like, did you cheat? Yeah. Like, like, no, but you didn't do your homework. Eh, it was lazy, I guess. I'll admit, um... That kind of happened to me in 6th grade when I had Spanish class. No, 7th grade. Or wait, was it... No, say so yeah, 7th grade, 7th grade. So... The first quarter of the year, so there's four quarters per school year, 
My Spanish teacher had to go on paternity leave. Because his wife had a baby and he had to be home to help her out. He was gone for three weeks. And he left us 14 assignments to do while he was gone. 14 homework assignments. Holy shit. To do over those three weeks. What the fuck? I couldn't get any of them done because I had very little understanding of Spanish at the time because certainly because he was he left towards the beginning take note these quarters only last about two and a half months he was only teaching us for a couple of weeks given introductions before he had to go on leave and he came back towards the end of the quarter oh my god and I didn't really know how to speak Spanish at the time, especially since I came in like a week late because of a vacation that was extended. And best best of all, the substitutes did not speak a lick of Spanish. And because of my bullying issue, no kids were willing to help me out with my work. So, so those 14 so, 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 assignments wait, went wait, pretty wait, much wait, unfinished. Wait, wait, wait. They hired a substitute that didn't know Spanish to teach Spanish class. Well, I mean, they hired the uh, substitutes that didn't know what the actual uh, topic of the class. In fact, I've had it happen before. So, I think I actually know. I've had multiple cases where at my old high school in Colorado, I would have a substitute in my uh, uh, advanced media class that didn't know anything about media production. I'm not joking. So... If you needed help from the actual teacher, but instead there was a substitute, you'd be screwed. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I it's true. God. It's fucking true. Well, Actually, as a matter of fact, you want to know what's even more surprising? My strategies for success teacher which also works in the ALC room at my current school, she can help you with pretty much any topic except math. I see your math teacher. Huh? I see your, ma I see your math teacher. Uh, the stress for success slash ALC person? You said, you said she can help, help you with anything but math. I guess you know, she's your math teacher or something? No. Oh. She's not my math teacher. I have a different math teacher, but it's still... Kind of crazy that she'll do anything but math. So if you have a hard math class and you needed extra time from the ALC, then if you're doing it in the afternoon, you're not going to get anything out of her. Let's just say that. And it's like, how is she in the ALC for everything but math? I mean, isn't shouldn't that be more like obvious to everyone else in some fashion? Come to be like disgraced to the students or something. Like, come on. <laughs> My head hurts, literally, literally and figuratively now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my fucking life hurts. Uh, before we go, uh, well, anyways, uh, before we go, what? I got a, got. A, no so, wait, I never got to finish my story. Got a new mouse, weird shape thing. Twenty oh, twenty dollars. Finally, twenty dollars. Finally. That's twenty dollars. Damn, that looks kind of nice, actually. Yeah, it's weird shape. Anyways, I never got to finish my story, so Continue. I mean, well, I did kind of, but um, there was a bit of redemption to it. it. Does have a happier ending, so we can at least end this on a happy note. What story was this again? Your toilet story. The Spanish one. He had to oh. he had to leave. His wife had a oh. baby. I was given fourteen homework assignments I couldn't work on because I didn't know Spanish. Kids didn't want to help me out, and the teachers couldn't help me out. Uh. He comes back. He checks all my assignments, and of course, he expresses disappointment that I barely got any of them done. And I leave the class thinking, okay, so I'm not getting an A or a B, probably a C. I get the report card. There's a D. So, my ma, of course, freaks the hell out. My dad freaks the hell out, especially since I was claiming everything was fine when it wasn't. And 
In fact, he actually angrily rejected to get me a Lego set I really wanted, but... But there was a bit of redemption here. My ma forced me to get in contact with a Spanish teacher about my grade, and he did something that I'm surprised he was allowed to get away with. And that would be... He gave me a bit of an offer. If I an were to do... An offer you couldn't refuse? An offer I couldn't refuse. He told me that if I did those 14 assignments over my Thanksgiving vacation and handed them in to him the first day back to school, he would change the grade to reflect how they're done. He would accept <laughs> them as though I submitted them when they were originally due. And somehow, I did it. I somehow got a hold of a Spanish... I don't know exactly how I did it. I tried utilizing a dictionary they had in the back of the book. It was quite limited, but I was trying to figure everything out. I would do two or three of the assignments per day. And it kind of became like a little exercise routine, kind of, how my ma would have me go and do it. But, in fact, I remember I was doing the last few assignments as the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade's going on in the background, or at least the halfway point of the assignments. Or I don't know how far along I was. I think I did, it didn't take me the whole vacation to do them all. Like, I think I did them at intervals, like, the first few days, just so they would be done. So I get them all done, I hand them in. The next report card, that D no longer exists, is now changed to a B to accompany the B I got in the second quarter. So. Nice. As long as you're willing to put forth the effort and the teachers see that, they, they could be willing to help you out. Cool. So here's the question. Why did he leave for most of the period of because time? Because his wife had a baby and he needed to help her out. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, then why were they given a substitute that barely knew shit about? It? You know what? No. You want to? You want to know what the class needed? Fucking Rosetta Stone. That's what the class fucking needed. Rosetta Stone, baby. Rosetta Stone. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a computer program that helps you learn languages. Oh. Yeah, it was on commercials uh, years ago. Earlier 2000s. No, I remember there was like all these advertisements or some kind of crazy video series. I was supposed to teach you languages easy. Hmm. Well, if you saw a yellow box, <sighs> it was probably was out of stone. I learned to count to 10 in Sesame Street. <laughs> was that a stone? No, was that a stone? In Spanish. English numbers, Sesame <clears throat> Street edition. No, if you want Spanish numbers, uh, then that would be Rosetta Stone, Door the Explorer, Spanish numbers. <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly how Angry Grandpa puts it. Now go along while you go to the Explorer. Maybe you'll learn to speak a little Spanish. <laughs> we forget really fast before we go. It's funny. When I, when I was a kid, cartoons tricked you into learning. <laughs> Yeah, that was well, that was uh, obvious. You're I mean, learning something today. Today we're gonna learn this, and they they use the tricky of the learning, like culture bad. <laughs> not anymore. Wait, well, did Sesame, not... wait, Sesame Street filed that formula, right? I don't know. Oh, the, oh, the, the Rescue cartoon. Rangers, did, res, Rescue Rangers did. They they actually, actually wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Can those count? No, those count can. Those couldn't count as cartoons, could they? Rescue Rangers. Yeah. yeah, it was a cartoon. Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. What, what episode they taught uh, you about 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 a, cult, a game cult. cults? Yeah, cults. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm confused on the term uh, cartoon. Yeah, because... a lot of, yeah. There were even today. There still occasionally shows that teach those lessons. But they don't. They don't trick you. Well, well it, I mean, the only show that I know, there's wait, some that trick on. you. Yeah. Hold on. The only show that I can find that does shit like that nowadays. Is the reboot Powerpuff Girls? They teach you how to twerk with that one scene. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what you mean. 
They teach you the memes, not the good memes, don't the bad memes. So I think that's a, that'd be a topic oh, for. Oh, Teen Snow does the same shit. Don't I worry. Think be, and yeah. ironically, the show becomes a meme in itself. But, but I think reboots like that are, are topic for a different, different episode. Well, with that, with that, you you guys want to give a shout out to your channels before we go? Shall I let you go first, Nick? Yes, well, you know me, Schnick1990, KH Let's Plays Galore. I recently started getting back into recording with my easy recording method, thanks to Elgato Sound Capture. So, I'm visiting an alternate universe Harry Potter right now, and maybe more to follow. So, there you go. And, um, well... Um, I, I think you guys seen me before, like, weeks ago. I've actually barely been on here, so allow me to introduce myself again. I am RUC101, and I do videos of fucking shit, and I'm not afraid to go into levels of mematory. I'm not afraid to fucking spur out shit that you wouldn't normally hear from Schnick, not to be rude or anything, but just saying. Um, I might do live streams of a game. I don't have a schedule, and I don't really plan to have one. And I also plan to do other kinds of videos, like some stories uh, uh, I told. Like, uh, well, I'll tell I'll tell you the substitute story, the Miss Cunt story. So you'll see uh. those, maybe some skit kind of the areas thrown into the video at some point, and more stupid shit to come from me. So that's all I gotta say. Um, and make sure to look at the uh, channel trailer because it, it's like the hardest. It's the one video that I worked on the hardest. So there you go. And, and additionally, we're also racing each other in Chicken Little. Spoilers, oh, yeah. one of us won the race. And you know me because this is my channel. So check out these guys. The descriptions below. And or click at the video for the for uh, annotation to their channels. And as always, enjoy the randomness. See ya. Bye bye.